Hey guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to play your favorite Dreamcast games in HD on your PC. Now before we get started here, the emulator we're going to be using is called ReDream. The emulator is totally free, you can play all the games that are compatible, and by the way, 85% of the Dreamcast catalog is fully playable with the ReDream emulator. But there is a catch. If you want to upscale your games to 720p, 1080, 1440, or even 4K, you will have to purchase a premium license for five US dollars. And in my opinion, it's totally worth it. I paid out of pocket for my license. This video is not sponsored in any way. This is just personally my favorite Dreamcast emulator that's been released so far. But like I mentioned, you don't have to purchase a license to use this emulator. You can play at a standard definition resolution of 640 by 480 for free with all of the games that are compatible. But I do have to say, running most of these Dreamcast games in widescreen and 4K is absolutely amazing. Now here's Dead or Alive 2 at 640x480, it's still fully playable, and it doesn't look half bad. But if I go ahead and turn on the widescreen cheat and bump the resolution up to 3840x2880, it's a totally different experience and it really feels and looks like a whole different game. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set this emulator up, it's really simple to do and you don't need super high end hardware to run these games at a higher resolution than 640x480. So let's go ahead and get this set up. Like I mentioned, it doesn't take a lot to run this at an upscaled resolution. I've been able to run this emulator perfectly fine on cheap Android smartphones using the Android version, upscale to 1280 by 960 with no trouble at all. I've also been able to run this on a cheap Windows laptop that cost me 100 bucks. It's got an N4000 dual core CPU and two gigs of RAM. And even on that machine, I was able to upscale to 1280 by 960 with no trouble at all with every single game, even the harder to emulate ones like Dead or Alive 2. So chances are, if you have a laptop or a PC that was made in the last six years or so, you can run this emulator fine. But there are a couple things that we'll need before we get started. Obviously, we need some Dreamcast games. I can't tell you exactly where to get them, but you can rip them yourself or do a quick Google search. You'll be able to find everything you need. As far as I know, the ReDream emulator supports two different formats, CDI, which is an easy one to use, but unfortunately, you can't use cheats in ReDream with CDI games and it's a little sketchy scraping the artwork automatically if you're using CDI. So I actually prefer using GDI games. It's a little weird how this is set up, but as you can see we have our GDI file, our bin file, raw file, and another bin file. If you've ever dealt with bin and Q games with PlayStation 1, you'll probably know exactly what's going on here, but I really do recommend getting the GDI games. If you can only come across CDI, they'll perform just as well, but keep in mind, cheats will not work with CDI as of making this video. And the next thing you'll need is a controller. You could use your keyboard if you really want to play these games with a keyboard, but I prefer using a controller, like an Xbox One controller connected over Bluetooth to my PC or my Android device. If you have a PS4 controller, an Xbox 360, an Xbox One controller, or any controller that's compatible with Windows, it will work with ReDream, and it usually automatically sets those controllers up for you, so there's not much we need to do there. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. All links for everything mentioned in this video will be in the description. First things first, we need to head over to the ReDream website. We're going to download the Windows version because I'm on Windows, but it also works with Mac, Linux, and the Raspberry Pi 4. And if you want to do this on Android, you can get it from the Google Play Store. I'm going to download the Windows version here. Like I mentioned, ReDream is totally free to use. You can play through all of your games at a standard definition and have one save state per game. If you'd like to upscale and have multiple save states, you can buy a license right here. It's five US dollars and personally, I think it's worth it. Like I mentioned, I'm not sponsored by ReDream whatsoever. I don't mind buying something that works and that's really what it boils down to. This emulator is great and I never thought twice about spending five bucks on it once I tried it out. So we've got the emulator downloaded. I'm going to come right over here and just place it on my desktop for easy access. We now need to extract it. I'm just going to right click and extract it to its own folder. So here we are. We now have the ReDream folder and we can launch it from here, but I usually just create a shortcut and place it on my desktop. So I right click, shortcut, throw it on my desktop for easy access. And there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and start it up. As you can see, when you first start up ReDream, it's going to be in window mode and we don't have any games added yet. Library, Input, Video, System. From System, from Region, I'm just going to leave it at USA, Broadcast, NTSC, and VGA. Video, we're on the free version right now. I do want to go full screen with the menu, so I'm going to click on Window Mode. 
and make sure we're at exclusive full screen. I'm now at 1920 by 1080 only with the menu, not in gameplay. Game aspect ratio, I like leaving mine at 4x3, but you can go 16x9. Frame skip, I turn mine off, but you can leave it to auto. It will help out on very low end systems. Frame rate counter, V blanks per second. It'll just give us a frame counter up in the top left hand corner so we can see the FPS of the game. And finally, from the video section, polygon sort accuracy. Per stripe is gonna be the fastest. This is great for low end machines, but we can go all the way up to 64 layers per pixel. Now you will need a pretty decent machine to run these games upscale to 4K at 64 layers, but this is the best way to do it if your PC can handle it. But for this video, we're just gonna go per stripe. Very easy to do. Input. It's already detected my Xbox controller. It's showing up as an Xbox 360 controller. I'm gonna click on this. Input device. You can change your dead zone and customize binds. So if you don't like a button layout, you can always come in here and change it. Left joystick, click on that. It's waiting for an input from the controller. Press up. This is already set up pretty nicely, but one thing I like to change is my main menu so I don't have to use my keyboard while I'm playing a game to come back. Main menu, I use my right analog stick, push down on it, it's R3, Joy 9 it's detected as, and when I'm inside of a game, if I press that button, it'll bring me back to the menu without stopping the game. Now it's time to add our games. From library, add directory, mine's on my desktop, you will have to locate your games, C drive, users, user one, desktop, Dreamcast games. These are where mine are located. Add this folder and there we have it. It's populated my games and it's downloaded the box art already. You can exclusively use your mouse or keyboard to navigate this menu or you can just use your controller scrolling with my controller now. And for basic setup, that's it. We can now start playing a game. I'm gonna go with Soul Calibur. Just press A on my controller. Now remember I set up that hotkey to exit back to the menu. You can also press escape on your keyboard if you don't wanna set up a hotkey. It'll bring us right back here. And from here, we can save. We're on the free version, so we have one save slot. I'll just choose that, go back it'll load me right back to where I was. Escape again, manage saves, and cheats. So under cheats here, you have to be using GDI games for this to show up. But different games will have different cheats, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock all the characters here. And when you enable a cheat, you'll have to restart the game. I'm gonna get into a little bit of gameplay, Right now, we're at 640 by 480. You can play your games like this. Looks good, feels great, and I mean, the games perform really great. But if you want to upscale, you will have to have that premium license. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of here. I do want to save my game. I'll close Redream down. And I already own a license. It's a Redream key right here. You're going to download it from their website after you make a purchase. I'm just going to place it right in my Redream folder. I'll start Redream back up. And now we have some more options under video. So if I go up to video, we can now change the game resolution. I'm gonna go up 3840 by 2880. I'm also gonna change this to 32 because my PC can handle it. Frame skip off, got my FPS showing. Go back to games, Soul Calibur, and I'll load that state. There we go. So we're now upscaled, and it definitely makes a big difference. I'm not sure how well it's coming across with the YouTube compression, but it's totally different when you upscale from the stock resolution. Now let's move over to widescreen cheats. I'm going to back up, manage cheats. I'm going to turn widescreen on, and we'll have to restart the game for these cheats to take effect. Now, we're running Soul Calibur for Dreamcast at 4K and widescreen at 60 FPS. Plus, since I'm using the premium version, we have more save states, five per game.
And I'll just show you real quick that with the CDI games, not GDI, but CDI, we can't access the cheat menu and nothing's going to be listed there. I have Jet Grind Radio. This is a CDI format game. We'll back up. No cheats are available for this game, but if it was GDI, I would have that widescreen cheat available. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's really easy to set up the Redream emulator. If you're using the free version, you just won't have a couple of these options here, and you will only have one save state per game, but they're still playable, and it works great. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching and hope you have the Redream emulator up and running on your PC, Mac, Linux, or your Android phone. It's a really great emulator and you definitely at least need to try out the free version. Recently I've created a couple more videos like this showing you how to run PS1 at 4K, PS2, and even GameCube. If you're interested in checking those videos out, I'll leave links in the description. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.